Sean, uh, again, congratulations on being inducted into the California Hall of Fame. Thank you. Uh, I have several questions I'd like to ask you about your background. Okay. First, what individual had the greatest influence on you and your wrestling career? Uh, I would have to say my older brother, Kevin Lewis. He uh, wrestled for two years at Berkeley High School and always wanted to emulate him and always wanted to be like him. So I really uh, uh, took a liking to wrestling. And uh, once I got to high school, I started wrestling my freshman year at Albany High School. Sean, who, who is your idol? Would that be your brother? That would be my brother, the same person, Kevin Lewis. I mean, he's a yeah. hard worker, you know, not a complainer. You know, he uh, rolls with the best of them. And so he just gets the job done, you know, no matter what the task might be, he finds whatever the solution might be and he gets the job done. How did you get started in wrestling? Uh, actually, I was a uh, horse playing with a senior at Albany High School when I was a freshman in 1982. And it was between periods, so it was after gym class and uh, Kermit Bankston, who's the head coach at Albany, he's been the head coach there for many years, uh, saw us horse playing around and I was getting the best of the guy. I'd never wrestled a, a day in my life and he was a senior, he was on the varsity team and he told me, he said, hey, if you come out for the wrestling and you make the varsity team, we're going to Hawaii. That's our senior trip this year. And so uh, I was like, Hawaii in 1982, that was, you know, the place to be. So I, I went out for wrestling and I've been stung ever since. What do you attribute your success in wrestling to? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people who invested a lot of selfless service, you know, just, you know, having the tournaments and uh, practices and always willing to help me out. I ask questions or I show up at practice. It doesn't matter if I was on his team or on another team. Uh, he always helped me out. So I, I would have to say a lot of people, a lot of people put a lot of selfless service into me and into this sport and that I got to break that all up and spread it around. <laughs> is there one outstanding situation or memory that you have involving wrestling? Oh, it was many, but I guess the, the last one uh, would have had to be the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, China. Um, being uh, in the corner and coaching the U.S. guys, uh, that's always that stands out. Uh, me winning my first national title in 1993, you know, that, 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 was, a, that was a big win for me, uh, winning the an international Grand Prix was a big one. So there's been a, a few, but uh, the, the last one, the most recent, I guess, would be the uh, 2008 being on the Olympic staff as coaching. As a wrestler, is there one match that really stands out in your mind? Yeah, I guess I would have to say that uh, 1993, my first national title. Uh, I'm in the United States Army. I retired this month after 20 years. And uh, in that finals, it was me in the United States Army against Buddy Lee, who was a Marine Corps. And uh, he was the 1992 Olympian. And uh, we wrestled in the finals, went in overtime, 18 seconds in overtime. Uh, took him out out of bounds and won the title. So that, that really, you know, got me going. If you could start all over again, would you do anything different as a wrestler? Well, I, I, would, I would have to say uh, I'm happy with the way things turned out. But, of course, I would want to do a little bit better and so yeah I guess I would stay five minutes longer and come five minutes earlier so you know but I'm happy with the way things turned out and uh, I definitely wouldn't change sports. <coughs> what would you like people to remember about you? I uh, just uh, I was fair, honest, uh, worked hard and uh, I was a team player. Uh, how has wrestling contributed to your life? Well, I, I think wrestling is the ultimate sport for, for life because, I mean, there's not one wrestler who didn't learn humility, uh, perseverance, hard work, and those are just very, very key uh, attributes you, sh you should have in life, you know, to be successful. And so wrestling really does get you ready for the, the game of life because you're going to have ups and downs. You're going to, you know, going to be behind with 30 seconds to go and you got to get a takedown. You got to push through. Uh, so wrestling has really prepared me for life and uh, has really made me the person I am right today. Thank you, Sean, and congratulations again in your induction. Thank you, sir. Thank you.